Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Roguelike Monthly Marathon. It is April 7th, and we are on our fifth different roguelike. If we take a look at the trophy cabinet, we can see that Enter the Gungeon, Dicey Dungeon, Slay the Spire, and Bullets Per Minute have all been beaten. And now we're coming to you with something slightly different. This is a dog. I believe his name is Fidel. And we need to go to a dungeon and rescue his owner slash a lovely looking grandma. And so this just about meets the definition of roguelike, because if you die, you always end up back in this hub world. But there's a bit more puzzling going on rather than the frantic shooting that has been the last couple of games. So without further ado, let's delve in. So as you can see, we have 15 levels to defeat. And currently we have two health, no XP, no gold, no bomb, no potion. So we can move on any of the cardinal directions, but we cannot step over our leash once we have created a path with it. And the various enemies have various effects on us, and we need to get at least 15 XP to leave this floor. We also need to not die in the process by losing all of our health. And if we walk into this spider, say, we now have 1 HP. If I were to walk into the next spider, I would have 0 HP. And then if I walk into a third spider, I would die. But we can retrace our steps if we need to. So, we can also press enter and change which side of the map we start on, which is very handy. And we want to collect as much XP, gold and coins on our way around as possible. So let's see what we can do. The little vampire looking dudes will go to sleep if you have full health. And then you can attack them for free. So we missed some XP here, but I'm reasonably happy with that and we'll just carry on. So here we have those same purple spiders. Tiny red spiders are free to crush and the big red spiders turn upside down after you've killed three things. We currently don't have enough health to kill three full size spiders in one go. But if we were to do something like tiny spider, regular spider, tiny spider again we get extra extra xp for the triple and then we can kill one of the red spiders for free so we get three for a triple there as well we will heal and kill another red spider we can do another triple here and that's even more xp So now we can take these two, but instead, if we come the long way around, we'll hurt this one first. Heal here. And I'm hoping that this triple, we are one XP short of a free level up. But if I do this, we get a full level up, which heals us to full as well. We can kill another spider and then enter the next floor. 3 of 15. Here we have the introduction of three-headed tortoises, turtles, take your pick. You can only attack a turtle by biting its tail end. You can, however, change the orientation it's facing by barking at it to get its attention. Well, I think what we might want to do is, starting from the other side... Unfortunately, we're going to get ourselves stuck. Oh, no, we can go north instead. We can't escape here without dying. I think the problem is when 
these guys oh whoops when these guys are facing each other we can't or that when their tails are facing each other when they are directly opposed we can't consume both because from here if we go up or down our leash is then in the way permanently to attack the second tortoise But I will take that and just carry on. I'm not here to try and do a perfect round on every map. Here we're at an alien disco. We need to kill at least 15 of the little aliens on the side before we can get the big guy in the center out of our way. But unfortunately, the disco music is pumping and every now and again, the guy in the center will shoot a giant laser like that which really impacts our rhythm. We can swap with him, but being here in the center is not very advantageous, I believe. We've capped out our money, so we have a free heal whenever we should need it. I'm gonna try and hold on to that as much as possible. So we need seven more. We have three health, and that HP over there to our left is also gonna heal us for three, which makes six, which is not enough. So we need to be more efficient about this, it seems. Now we need six more out of the two sets of health we have, so we can go. Oh, shoot. Okay, I got overexcited, and now the ghost is going to start chasing us any second. All right, we're going to have to destroy that one with a bomb. I'm not happy about it, but that's how it is. And escape. This is just a vignette. We see that no matter which way we go, we can't escape through the hatch door there. And our evil mechanic equivalent over the other side of this toxic ooze, when we push this button to escape, is going to snatch grandma, which is not very nice. Board six, we have red buttons. Red buttons cause all of the purple pillars to invert to either up or down. And the creatures at the top, the robots with three charges, will lose a charge each time you push a button. And if you can get to them whilst they are powered down, you are then able to destroy them. This gets us stuck because we can't go through our own leash. If we push, if we kill this spider, the robot awakens, so that's not the move. This is also not the move because we are stuck. Let's try from the other side. Oh, well, that went much smoother. We'll take the extra gold, because why wouldn't you? And now we have a few combinations of each. We also see a robotic health pack up at the top of the map. That will harm us, but we'll learn more about that later. So to start, let's do a three spider triple here. Eat that guy. Oh. 
And now we're up to level four. We get a free full heal, which is excellent. We can eat this red spider. Go one, two, three for a triple. Heal. Unfortunately, we can't eat the red spider here. But we can do one, two, three for a triple. Heal. Ignore what I just said. Totally can eat the red spider. And we'll escape with a solid run there. Okay, so the things that look like inverted books with bones on their head. If you attack anything on one of its four cardinal spots neighboring it, it will wake up and then you can't defeat it. Just like that. And if we do this, we also can't escape. But if we come this long way round, now we've snuck up on this spear-wielding creature. We can attack it for 3 XP immediately. We'll push this button, giving ourselves an escape route. And we can go up here. That's gone extremely well. Okay, so earlier on we met the robotic wolf equivalent of our friendly doggo self. And you'll also see on this map those mechanical med kits. If we consume the mechanical med kit, we will be injured. If the wolf consumes the mechanical med kit, he will be healed. So we need to make the mechanical dog consume 14 damages worth of creature without taking damage ourselves. So where will we begin? We can also swap here as well if we wish to. And any med kits that the mechanical wolf eats are ones that we obviously cannot consume for ourselves. So they're going to mirror our moves in opposite. So if we go down, for example, We've done a lot of damage, but we are very injured as well. Now, we could use our healing potion for all of our money, but there's probably going to be a better way to do this. I think to start, we're going to have this guy consume his own med kicks. I don't think he can overheal past 14. I am correct. So then we will start him eating on those. I don't want him to heal, but also we need to heal. So the fact that these two medkits are on opposing corners really sucks. And he gets to eat the red spider for free as well, which is not ideal. The other thing that you might not be seeing right now, after we've defeated the robot, our leash will remain, but his leash will disappear. So we will be able to navigate to the end of the map once we get to that point. And I don't need to worry about trying to kill stuff for XP here. It's obviously beneficial, but not, necess not a necessity. He needs to lose eight and getting the med kit heals him all the way to max, which is totally unsustainable. And we've trapped ourselves. That too traps ourselves. 
the worst part of this is you know there's got to be a solution they've programmed it that way but they don't have to make it easy or obvious let's try this let's eliminate his med kit take our own on this opposite corner first and then start the damage process I'm going to use a bomb here. Let's get this over to our med kit. And then we can just trail him around the enemies. We have one short. We have one short again. I can't get all five of these creatures. Oh, and I've set the timer off. God damn it. Apparently, you get two goes at not setting the timer off, and I've completely boned it. Oh, God. There's no way to do this, is there? Well, that's a big fat loss, because I panicked, not knowing that I actually get two goes at the spirit coming and then the spirit attacking us, so... As much as I thought I wasn't going to need fast twitch on this game, I did. But anyway, we still remain at four defeated roguelikes by the 6th, 7th of April. This is the 7th of April today. But uh, we'll see what happens on the next one. Thank you for watching. Cheers.